Welcome everyone. I am Nicola Madora and I bring to you today the news of essential communication. Communication that we need in this fast-paced world where we have the internet, we're globally connected, yet most people still feel the longing to be heard, seen and loved and often they do not receive that. I imagine you experienced that in your life too. So what can we do about that? When we learn some basic foundation stones for communication that works with our spouses, with our co-workers, with our children, with animals, what is the essence that we need in communication? First off, to be present. Presence, to become fully here, being with one person or many people, but being here, meaning you are open, your mind is relaxed, and so is your body. You're taking a breath, and you're making yourself available for this moment as if it is the most impo important moment and relationship in your life. The other piece is to listen with open ears, meaning we're hearing into the world of another, the world that is entirely often different than our own, that we might not know anything about. But we're listening with the intent to get to know each other's world rather than using the mind to, dev to create more barriers that we, that we already have by judging, by putting another person down, by having the internal dialogue going on. I know what this person will say. So the attitude to hold with a deep listening is, I want to get to know you. And I listen to what is alive and what is fresh. I see you with fresh eyes, not as you were yesterday. So just, just these simple, simple tools, including being more curious. What world are you living in? I will pick up through your body, through your story, through your energy, the song that is you the voice that is you, and the world you live in, that you might show me just the surface, and yet there's so much more that is a gift if I listen, truly listen. The other piece is how do I speak so that I will be heard? What I find really helpful is to remember Speak what's true, speak what's real, and speak what is maybe a little risky, to be more vulnerable. And that's often what we're so afraid of, but yet it creates connection. It's the place where you dare to say what I'm feeling or what I'm experiencing is a little insecurity when I'm going to deliver this papers, these papers to you and this project, I feel a little afraid. And I'm so glad I said it. It might sound so simple, but it makes a huge difference because the other person knows all of a sudden where you are at, what you're experiencing, you're letting the other person into your world, and what happens is connection. What happens is communication, and we meet. And ultimately, that's what most people want. To be heard, to be seen, and to meet. So use, if you like, looking with fresh eyes, listening with curiosity, speaking with realness and vulnerability.
there's so much more I could tell you, but you can go to my website, find out more about what I do in authentic relating and leadership skills. And uh, you're welcome to call me as well. Thank you so much for your time.